supper time again. We're gonna cook and we're gonna show you how to make five minute Olive Garden. We got our ingredients right here. We're gonna make five minute Olive Garden. I'll show you how in just a minute. There you have it, there's the ingredients. Take about a half a tube of that hamburger meat, brown it in a pot, get you some prego sauce, Put pour that on the hamburger meat once you get it browned. And take some of these three cheese ravioli that you can buy from Sam's. I buy a big bag of them, I put them in them bags about the right size for me and mama to have a meal off of. And all you do, is you boil them in a pot, warm them up, brown your hamburger meat, and everything, you got it right there. By the time you bring them to a boil and get them ready, they're ready. Your hamburger meat and your sauce is done. I'll plate some up here in just a minute and show you what it looks like. And there it is. Five minute Olive Garden. Right there on that plate. Look at that fine china that thing's sitting on. There's that three cheese ravioli with meat sauce and a salad. You could throw you in some garlic bread if you wanted some. But uh, we're trying to do it without bread. Uh, I got a little flour in that ravioli, but you have to do it every once in a while. Salad, three cheese ravioli with meat sauce, hot cup of coffee. Mmm. Don't get no better than that. That's five minute Olive Garden right there. Put the, put the three cheese ravioli on the bowl. Brown your hamburger meat and while it's browning. Make your salad. Dump you some prego in that brown hamburger meat. And by the time it gets good and warm, you can go to spooning up those three cheese ravioli and make your salad. You good to go. Don't that look good? time at the Comets household. We're fixing to fix some pancakes for Mama. And right now I'm fixing me a breakfast burrito. I'm fixing to show you how quick and easy it is to fix it. There ain't nothing to it. Just a simple little meal. Alright. I'll show you how we do it. a couple of patties of Jimmy Dean sausage, some chopped frozen onions, two eggs. You brown that Jimmy Dean sausage and put it in there with onions, saute them onions up, get them ready. Then you dump them eggs over in it and stir them up, get it all good and ready. Well, while you're doing that, you warm your tortillas on top of the vented grease spatter thing. And there you go. What we're going to do now, we're going to put these burritos together. Put about half your mixture right there in the middle of that thing. About like that. Put just a little hot sauce on it. Fold that one up. Roll it over. Voila. Breakfast burrito. Better McDonald's, at least it's hot. Try it. It's good. Done got your second burrito made. Got mama's pancake going for breakfast. We'll have all this whooped out in just a minute. Just whoop it out real quick. I'm gonna show y'all and talk about the differences in men and women a little bit. See those two coffee pots sitting right there? Well, those coffee pots represent the difference in men and women. The reason 
reason those coffee pots represent the difference in men and women is, well, they both make coffee. They both make good coffee. I mean real good coffee. And uh, the one on the left was a uh, thrift store, $2 fine. I actually bought it to make a grease pot out of it. But I tried it making coffee to make such good coffee, I kept it as a coffee maker. And canned my other old coffee maker. Made coffee in it for about two years. But it just wasn't pretty enough for Mama. So she went and bought this pretty coffee maker. For about 20 bucks, I think. I don't really know how much it was, but we got a pretty coffee maker. Both make good coffee, but hers is prettier than mine. I have to say that, but they both make good coffee. One for 10% of the cost to the other one though. But I don't worry about mama's pretty because she's a whole lot prettier than I am. So I'll put up with a pretty and a woman and the sissy frou-frou. I kind of like it. Now, looking at me, you couldn't tell that I like it. But mama pretty. She's fixy. She's frou-frou. And I like it. She old. She's a girly girl. A real girly girl. Well, breakfast is ready. We got it. Got it fixed up. Fixed knee. Got some got us some pancake for baby doll sausage and egg from me got some coffee fresh coffee made in her pretty coffee pot so we got it made morning baby doll morning what's going on nothing getting hungry getting hungry yeah well there it is that's what breakfast looks like on the boat what about my pancake diet she's on a pancake diet no not just pancakes She's dieting. She's lost something like 50 and all, 50 and all uh, since she's had knee surgery. She's doing real good. Uh, we having a good time. Good life going down the road. Typical breakfast at the Coast House. Fried eggs, coffee, sausage, good coffee in a cup. We ready to go. Fried eggs, coffee. Main staying here about every morning. Mama eats a pancake. And have a good life. There it is, all plated up, ready to go. Fried eggs and cheese, coffee. Now we're doing it without toast. Now, for later on, we done got some cabbage in a pot and cooked last night. All we got to do is warm it up when we stop today. We're going to be traveling. This is the next morning at Walmart in Port Clinton, Ohio. Uh, Mama done had her breakfast. I done got up, made us a pot of coffee and scrambled her a couple of eggs. I'm working on my breakfast. Watch, excuse the hand, man. There it is. is. I'm got me some taters and onion going. I'm on fry a little bit of sausage. Scramble me up a couple of eggs. And I'm going to eat breakfast here in a minute. But this is the morning after Walmart. We're sitting here. We've been cool all night. That air conditioner just been humming. I didn't turn it off. I forgot to turn it off last night. I fell asleep before Mama did. She got to stay cool and I didn't turn it off. So we've been cool all night long. Been sitting right here. Chugga lugging. Right along. And uh. We think to eat breakfast and go out to the pier. They say there's a pier somewhere downtown here at Port Clinton. Goes out on the lake a little bit. So we're going to hunt that pier. We'll show you that in a little while. But, hey, we're going to be leaving Walmart here in a minute. We don't went in and spent $84. We spent $50 on one meal for me and Mama while we've been on this trip. I bought $84 worth of groceries this morning. And 
Uh, we got enough stuff out of that $84 probably to last us a week, week and a half. But I tell you what, I got enough stuff on this hill. Motor home, we could probably last two months without buying another thing. Now, it wouldn't be everything we won't eat when we won't eat it. But I got dried peas, rice, canned goods. I got a little bit of everything. We could stretch it out if we had to. Hey, I'm a prepper, semi-prepper, even, even RVing. I'm prepared. Check y'all out later. All right, there's my breakfast. That's one potato, one onion, a little sausage, some leftover cornbread from the other night when I had the black-eyed peas that day before yesterday, and uh, made a gravy from yesterday on the cornbread. That's breakfast for this morning. Cheap meal fixed up. You can you could add a couple of eggs to that if you wanted to. There's plenty enough on that plate that I ain't gonna need nothing extra. We've been to sit down and eat and enjoy that. Well, I made this journey with you. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.